just wanted to show you these kind of like how there's knots underneath my hair. So one thing I do is take like a pump of the serum and I kind of, I don't want to get it too oily, but kind of brush through the ends and that way it helps the knots kind of just slip out. Then see, I have kind of like some extra, so I just rub it in my skin. I'm not even wash my face. This is like, I don't know if this will ever make any video or YouTube, but anyway. Okay, then I take this brush, the Olivia Garden, and I brush it through. Then the knots, I try to always start at the bottom and be very careful. And if there's one that just like won't come out, sometimes it's something you have to really do like this. You don't wanna just keep pulling. You know, pull all the hair out of it like that. It pretty much will slide right out because of that oil instead of just making a tighter knot. Goodness, okay, I'm gonna put some more on this piece. I did not have this much of a problem with this before we moved here. This is what hard water does. It attaches to that more porous, you know, damaged hair, which usually anyone with long blonde hair is going to have. Okay, let me make sure. Hey, Nene. Nene. Okay. And then one thing, let's see, I'm gonna take this. When you do the air wrap, your curls don't last quite as long as a curling iron. Plus I was rained on a bunch yesterday. And they don't, the air wrap does not like smooth your hair as much as a curling iron. So for someone who really wants body, it's better. But if you really want smoothness, I'm gonna do like just a half quarter of a pump. If you really want smoothness, a curling iron does better. But I do think the air wrap is probably better on your hair. And I usually just smooth this out. Hey, darling, you wondering what I'm doing? Talking? Oh, and then I take the rest and do these sides. Okay, so then what I do, I never put my hair in a ponytail unless I'm at night sometimes, like the first night of my curls, right before I go to bed, I will put it up with this real loose, but not a true ponytail. I usually take these and do this. Then I wash my face. Okay guys, this is my outfit of the day, but it is not complete. <laughs> it is that sweatshirt. Here, let me move my hair out of the way here. It is that cropped little BP sweatshirt that I got from Nordstrom a while ago. It is the Calzedonia, here, let me grab this. Calzedonia, like boot cut leggings, and they are so nice. They're not just like knit leggings. They're kind of like pants. So much so that I was looking for these, and every time I picked up these pants, I thought they were something different. So these are really nice, and my mason whatever bag and let's see for jewelry no earrings because i know that i'm going to be wearing a mask a lot and castle ring and the ring my parents got me and the plan is the reason for this little ensemble here these are uggs and i want to go today to get some black tennis shoes i want some either adidas or nikes or something they don't have to be like solid 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 black but I want them to be basically all black to wear with things like this and leggings and so I'm gonna do that but I want to get a pedicure today so that's the reason I'm wearing pants I can pull up and I am wearing shoes that I can put back on which sometimes I still get like a um, one of those little temporary the little throwaway flip-flop things but basically, I need to go get those tennis shoes today. Oops, sorry, tennis shoes today. I've gotta to get better at this. 
Anyway, so that is the outfit of the day. And then this blazer, that is Sassy Girl. This blazer is an older one from H&M, but they always have good ones. So I will see you guys later. Hey everyone, it's me and I'm pulling out of my rental neighborhood now. And there is a Chick-fil-A really close. So I usually go get myself a good big Diet Coke and head on with my day. I don't even mind if there's like a line because usually I'll just get, I always get stuff done in the car. I don't know what it is. It's like, this is my office. I just, sometimes I'll just go park. And I think it's because you can't be interrupted. Maybe that's it. I don't know what it is or there's, you can't be interrupted and then there's less distractions. Even if you're at home alone, you have more distractions. You know, I have the kitty cats, I have laundry to do, stuff like that. So, I am on my way. I've got several things I've got to do today. It's Thursday, so I usually go over to my mom's because she keeps my niece. And I like to take her something and go have a tea party or a hummingbird party or a Valentine's Day party, whatever it may be. Last week they made homemade dog treats. <laughs> so, I usually go over there and try to spend a few minutes and then today I want to go get a pair of black sneakers. Just some good tennis shoes. Not necessarily any type of brand. The ones I saw that I would like to get are Adidas. But who knows how old they are. You know, the person in the picture. So anyway, um, that's part of my goal. And then I wore, I did an outfit of the day video. I'm going to try to start doing that every day. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, do that and then follow my stories because I'm going to start posting a lot more on stories. The more I've done it, the easier it is, as is everything. So. Welcome to the Porter Stack whenever you're ready. Hey there, I would like a large Diet Coke with light ice. Alright, 624 at the window. Thank you. No so, I've got my, they're attached to my keys got my mask with me I love these I know a lot of you have gotten these but they're the best I feel like since I've gotten these I don't even hesitate to go places as much anymore because they don't I feel like the other the cloth mask just bothered me okay so anyway where was I going with this I don't even know I am off to get those tennis shoes oh this is something funny I wanted to tell you okay pretty soon I'm gonna post a video for Kenzie, the IPL handset. Okay, I want to, it's like I know, you know, different people do different videos and spot their sponsored videos and you always wonder, do they really like it? Is it really good? You know, and I was thinking about this, this last night and I was thinking, what can I say to you just to express that it is? And it's kind of like my pillow, the Sleeping Glow pillow. I would pay for that pillow three times. I mean, I just love that pillow so much. Okay, let me get all my stuff ready, my app and everything for my Diet Coke here. So anyway, bottom line, I love that thing. Mine is doing good. And um, I've been doing it on my legs, one leg. I've been doing my left leg, and you're gonna see in the video the very first time I did it, hold on. Yes, ma'am. No, I just need a straw. Thank you. You too. Okay, so anyway, I've just been doing one leg. The results are amazing. I told John, I said, this is just amazing. I mean, I... I I can't get over it. So he's been, he's taken a few pictures of me while I was doing it, which is another man thing. It cracks me up. The first time I asked him to do it, he literally got so close. But anyway, I um, am going to show you the results soon. But for some reason in my head today, I know I need to get a pedicure so bad. But I don't want to go and get a pedicure with 
one semi little bit of hairy leg and then one hairy hairy leg and so I told myself today I'm gonna take my final pictures to show you guys try to take it in the sunlight where you can see and then I'm going to shave them start over and go get a pedicure fresh and then hopefully I'll be set well I wasn't thinking so I've got the shoes and the pants on to go get a pedicure but I haven't shaved my legs yet so now I've got to decide do I want to go ahead and do it I mean I've already got the shoes to do it and my pants to do it and everything else and just let them deal with my hairy leg or do I want to wait if it was someone that I could really talk to, but a lot of the people that they have at the place that I get my nails done or my pedicure, they really can't speak English very well. So I try to keep it, you know, to the basics because I don't want to confuse them. So I don't know, but so that is where we are right now. I also have my mom's, um, I gave her my Ricky makeup mirror and I borrowed it back from her to see if that would be something good to use, hold on, to do makeup or Instagram videos in, but I never even took it out of the bag because I'm just gonna try to, I'm gonna just try to wait for the sunny days and just use my phone and just do the best I can, just sit in front of a window, basically. So I'm gonna take that back to her because she loves it. She uses it every day and she keeps it like on her dresser by her window so she does her makeup in the mirror and then she goes and looks in the window at natural light which is a great 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 thing to do because our makeup looks so much different in natural light matter of fact that first day that i wore this covergirl foundation i mixed two colors today but the first day i wore it in that darker color oh my gosh this heat is so hot i need to turn it down I loved it, loved it, loved it. Got in the car and it was a little orangey. It was just a little too dark and too warm. So today I actually mixed that color with the lightest one. And that's what I'm wearing now. I'm still wearing the same, <clears throat> you know, blush, bronzer, contour, and everything that I showed you, sorry. In yesterday's video. And you guys, I know what you mean when you said that that video kind of reminds you of my older videos and I think what it was because I was like it does what is it I think it's because I was kind of looking down and it reminded me of when I used to do all my videos before everyone got so daggone professional and I used to do all of my videos in a webcam and I think that's what it kind of reminded us of I would sit in front of my windows and use the webcam sorry I've got you guys like rigged up here okay sorry you fell I'm actually gonna sign off because I told my daddy I wasn't gonna drive and do this so I will check back with you in a little bit hey guys okay I just got off the phone <laughs> oh where's my sunglasses just got off the phone with Tammy and I am getting ready to go into Dillard's I've got this man that just got in his truck across from me that's probably thinking I'm nuts but getting ready to go into Dillard's I figured when I go in here I can look at their shoes John loves the t-shirts here they have a really good department where I get John and Will their t-shirts like you know Billabong um what are some other ones Vans Costa just you know like kind of surfy casual t-shirts and what else do I, oh, I want to look and see what Uggs they have, if they have those really short ones. And I'm going to look at their tennis shoes, and I'm hoping this is going to be a one-stop shop. Oh, and one of you asked me about the Clinique, the new Clinique uh, foundation. And I was thinking this would probably be the best place to go, and I can get them to maybe put a sample of the Ivory Beige Estee Lauder on my hand and maybe walk over, and maybe we can try to match that up because you can't do returns right now, of course. I don't think. I don't think you can do returns at Dillard's anymore right now during COVID. So anyway, I will show you what I get when I come back. Okay, boy, I look rough. We are having like a wind storm today. I don't know how I've ended up being like the weather girl 
I think it's part of getting older. You know, your grandma always talks about the weather. But with me, it always has so much to do with videos, my hair, what to wear, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, we had, like when I looked at the weather, it just had, it didn't have sun or rain or anything. It just had that wind sign, and it is the truth. So I am just leaving Dillard's. I ended up seeing a friend in there. We were talking about our kids and everything. And um, so, but I did get, I got a new Dior lipstick, lip liner. I got the new Clinique foundation. I got her to match it on paper to the Double Wear Ivory Beige. And then, what else did I get? Oh, I went to Foot Locker and got some tennis shoes. I got the, some black ones to wear with like leggings and everything and some new ones that I think I'm gonna like for walking and everything. But I'm not gonna show you everything today. I don't want this to be too long and I will show you those tomorrow. And I actually, I have some good stuff to show you tomorrow. I have a dress that is really pretty and I wanna talk to you tomorrow about you know shopping for spring and what I've realized over the years the mistakes that I've made and everything else so I'm getting ready to go get something to eat I'm going to probably get a double cheeseburger from McDonald's with ketchup bacon and cheese only and then I'm stopping by my mom's because I don't like to go over there hungry because they have good stuff to eat and I I'm not going to be tempted, but it's just much nicer when you're not. You know what I mean? When you're not hungry. And um, I don't know if I'll add anything else to this little mini vlog or not. But if I do, I'll be back. If not, I will see you tomorrow.